I think we need to go back to Mark 4, verse 41. What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Our heading, winds and waves be still. When they said, Master, we perish, I do not know what they thought the Lord would do, but they assuredly never dreamed that he would stand up in the back of the ship and say, winds and waves. What mean you? Your master is here. Be still. That was beyond their nautical experience, and their fathers had never seen such wonders in their day. They could not hope that in a moment they should be in a profound calm. Firstly, now, may I ask you to wonder a little at what the Lord has done for you. Has He not done for you what you never expected? I wonder more and more that by His grace I am what I am. Why? You hardly know how you did get here. You can scarcely tell the way by which the Lord has led you to be a lover of the gospel. Look at your inner feelings as well as your outward position. Are you not often made the subject of desires, of longings, of groanings, and, on the other hand, of enjoyments, of sweet and precious endearments, of high and gracious expectations, which utterly surprise you as you remember that you used to be what you used to be? Secondly, if others say that the Lord has done great things for you. Does not your heart chime in with all its bells and ring out the joy notes? The Lord has done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Come indulge your wonder, admire and marvel at the exceeding grace of God towards you in working contrary to nature and contrary to all reasonable expectations, and bringing you to be his dear and favorite child. Marvels of mercy, wonders of grace, belong unto God Most High. An application. Besides this, the idea of a storm, which should immediately be followed by a great calm, was striking new to experience. These fishermen, of the Galilean lake has never seen it after this fashion before. We read in the Old Testament of some, to whom it was said, You have not gone this way before. And I pray, thank you, Lord Jesus, for new expectations, for a great new marveling life at your side, in your presence. In Jesus' name, Amen.